What's up everybody, it's Bo Hyman, uh, back with another video. I was off for about a week, I was ill, I had an ill dog, but I'm back and this time uh, my wife was nice enough to allow me to unbox her new toys. Um, so these are uh, Disney Mirrorverse, um, it is a game, It's uh, I played on Android, and uh, you might be able to find it in your region, it might not, I'm not sure, but anyway, this is the first four, I was very excited to see these in the store, um, different characters, there's a whole kind of lore to it you might have to check out for yourself, I don't want to explain the whole thing, Ooh, darn it. but it's a very cool uh, take on classic characters. Really, really cool. I'm wondering if this is like a card thing. I just noticed that. That is wicked cool. Um, as you know, McFarland Toys is one of my favorite toy companies. I, well, I should say, I always respect everything I do, but two of their lines, the Warhammer 40k one and the uh, Fortnite 7-inch toys are two of the ones I, of my 12 lines, my main lines I collect because they are such high quality. Um, their paint jobs are always really good, but not always perfect. So let me grab a razor real quick. But uh, with their paint jobs, even though they're not perfect, like you can see, uh, Mickey there needs a little bit of a, it usually needs a little bit of a wash to bring out some of the details. They're some of the most detailed toys, uh, really bang for the buck type toys. And I want to try and open these carefully because I don't want to, I want her, she wants to keep the packaging, but she, uh, we also might get others. So we were, we've been looking for these in the store because uh, there was rumor and speculation that they were out and we got lucky and found some. It looked like um, they, you know, that's like all they had because this was they, they literally just had these four. So of course I grabbed them. Oh my God! If I didn't have to peel it off, she's gonna kill me. Uh, no, I think I did. Let me pause it and get these open. Okay, we've got Mickey support. So that was. It's like a. Oh wow, that is really cool. I didn't know this was a thing. Oh no, they put tape on it. Look at that. They put tape right on the card. Why would you do that, you jerks? Now, let me get it out here. Let me the whole thing and then redo it later. Pull that care. Sorry about the focusing. I don't want to rip that. So I'm going to set these to the side because I personally, I don't keep the plastic bits. I keep the cardboard backing and I put that in a big drawer. But here's Mickey's card. Wow, I didn't know they had that. That is really cool. Look at that. These are support. Makes total sense. Really, really cool. They feel great. Oh, well, this is a nice rubber. You know, if you've had a uh, McFarland tour before, then, sorry about the noise, then, uh, 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 oh my gosh. Okay. Um, if you've had a McFarland tour before, you know what to expect. They are high quality. Um, there's not much movement on Mickey because of his arms are short, but you do have a little that little, you can actually put his arms down. So, um, oh look, and he holds his little, uh, his little ball here, his little magic. Let me put that in there real quick. There you look at that. Hey, that's pretty cool. How's he, oh, he stands? Oh, that's cool, he stands his point, his, so he's kind of floating, right? As you can see, but his, his feet are pointed and using the back of the, the back of the cloak, he's, uh, that little, his inner cloak, I guess you'd call it. He stands pretty well, look at that, boom. So he's really cool looking. I'm not a huge uh, Mickey fan, but that's a fantastic little figure. So there's Mickey for support. I'm opening him last, because he's the, this, the weight difference, this guy here, Sully, in armor weighs a ton. He just feels so, like a, he, he feels the same weight of about the uh, Warhammer 40K figures, maybe a little heavier. These weigh nothing. Uh, but you can just see how the difference in size. I love that, and they're all one, one price, really, really inexpensive. This is Belle. Uh, she's a support as well. Look how cool she looks. I'm really hoping I didn't mess up Mickey's package now that I know how to open them a little bit better. Um, take advice from me and take your time on opening stuff because <laughs> um, I never do that and I always end up ripping it for no reason. Uh, how did I do this before? I think I pulled it from here. Uh, uh, yeah, that's much easier. So pull it from the bottom and it's not going to really mess up the artwork as much. Just pull her out. Let's get her card. I hate how they taped it on there, that's unfortunate. But it doesn't look like it's sticking at all. Put her stuff back, set that on my pile. I'm gonna turn my lights here a little bit. It's a little dim in here, that's all right. So there's Belle. She's a support as well, which I think makes sense, or could make sense. Um, I like that they've kind of redone the characters, but they're not um, so redone that they look odd. Do you know what I mean? They just look like 
they look like somebody played, um, you know, like they just made, like they did a fan fiction of Disney characters or something, if that makes sense. And they, they look fantastic. So here's Belle. Wow, she looks really cool. Oh, she is cool. Look at the cloak. Wow, that does look good. Um, I'm not going to go over all their movements and stuff because they're, they are a little bit more limited. I can't tell if she's got a bendy. Oh, shoot. I can't realize, I didn't realize I was blurry. I can't tell if she's got a bendy there or not. And I don't want to force it right now. I'll let, I'll let um, my wife do that, but her arms do go up. That is really cool. Look at her, her pouch there is really nice. Here's her. Look at this um, staff. That is really nice. So she holds that. How does she hold it? Probably in this hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can get it in her hand. Do, do, do. Best way is to always thread it down. If I can. There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, right on the handle. There we go. Oh. There we go. Look at that. Wow, she looks freaking so good. Um, no holes for stands. She seems to be standing okay. I don't know if the legs will bend. I'm kind of scared to do that. Since these are our only ones, we're gonna get more later. I'm, I'm gonna hold off on bending that just for now. I don't wanna break her. If she wants to break her toy in, she can break her toy, but I don't wanna break mine, or break it for her, because that's no fun. But basically she stands okay. I think it might need a little bit of a finagling there. Then here is, uh, this one was really cute. Goofy, who is ranged, <coughs> a ranged character, because he has this boomerang. Um, it, it, I'll have to show you the app sometime, but go download it and check it out. But the animations are fantastic. It's probably one of the better, if you have like a newer phone, like a pretty nice gaming phone, you know, one that can handle the upgraded graphics, especially it looks fantastic. It's really good looking. It looks like animations. Looks like they just animated the characters. It's, it's pretty up there. Okay, so there's the back. I'm pulling her here. Oh, you know, put this here. Um, oop, oop. Goofy, he's ranged. Gives you a little bit of lore. Gorsh. Gorsh. That's really cool. I'm going to keep Goofy's, put that to the side. Did I show you the box art? I don't think, no, no, oh, they're all the same. I'm sorry, I bumped the thing here. Looks like they're all the same. Uh, I'm glad these are popping right out. Now, they're only, I think, five inch. They're not the big, they're going to have another one coming, another another line of larger figures, I think. I don't know how big. Um, but they pop right out of plastic. I hate when they're like glued in there with like 400 little ties and stuff. He looks cool. He's got a little bit more uh, posability. Oh, he's got like a cloak on. And it's loose. I like how it's kind of, it feels, you know? Oh boy, does his uh, boomerang go in there? Look at that. Come on, go in there. How does it go in there? Oh no, can he not put it in there? Is there not a... Can't tell. Anyway, that's where his boomerang would go. Look at his outfit. Pretty fancy. I'd say Goofy is, uh, look at those uh, heels. I'd say Goofy is definitely taking a, uh, he's grown up a little bit here. Excuse my cut up fingers, I was doing some work earlier. Uh, looking good here, I like Goofy a lot, Gorish. Not my favorite character, I'm not a Goofy person. And doesn't Goofy own Pluto? And Goofy's a dog, and Pluto, is that the classic conundrum they're always talking about? Goofy is a dog, but owns a dog named Pluto? I always thought Pluto was Mickey's dog, but anyway, he's got the boomerang that he can throw, I guess. Let's see if I can get it in his hand. I hate doing this when I'm looking through the camera. <laughs> anyway, he can hold it like that. Standing-wise, he's oh, he just pops right down. These giant feet, he just, look at that. So I'm not seeing any, I'm just seeing you can turn the legs. So some of them have more posability than others, but these are their smaller size. So unlike the uh, seven inch McFar, I mean, uh, uh, Fortnite I collect and the seven inch um, Warhammer, these are smaller. So they're not gonna have necessarily all the Posibility. Now here's the big boy we've all been waiting for. Look at Sully. He's in like a, his his shield is the door. You know the door from the from the animation. Same stuff on the back, which is kind of cool. McFarlane has just been on fire with their lines. They're, they've all, they've made mon lots of money since the '90s. I remember when they first were coming out. I think it was the '90s, early late, middle '90s, something like that. And it was just gangbusters. It was just like, oh my god, this guy's making so much money. Wow. He is chunk. Oh, he is tied down. Look at that, because he's so big. Now I'm going to take the card out. Let's take a look at that. Ooh. Okay, I didn't tear it. My oh, wife would kill me. He's a... Uh, oh, is he a tank? He's a tank, obviously. Look at him. <laughs> That's really cool. It gives you the stats. 
And the game, you can you can compare that to the game, of course. Let me cut him out here very carefully. Let's see if I can just I can just do a a, a very careful snip. I think that'll work just fine. Let's try the other one. Ah, uh, don't don't cut the paint bow. Ah, I hate this. Let me try this. Ow, ow. I'm gonna get a little tweezers here. I'm just trying to be careful because again, these aren't necessarily mine. I just want to be be careful so I don't cut the paint. Come on. There we go. That's the way to do it. Okay. Oops, sorry, Goofy. Let's scoot all that over there. Wow, look at him. Oh my God. He feels, it is, that's like a metallic. Can you pull it off? That's a, that's a, like a metal. Unless that's just a really heavy plastic. Like a, uh, almost like if you're a modeler and you ever do a, um, play with or do a model kit that's made of resin. It's that really hard kind of plastic. So he's got all sorts of stuff. So this is going to go there, I take it. I'm trying to remember what he looks like in the game. This is his tail. So he's definitely not as poseable, but... He stands up like a champ. So that's really cool. Wow, he is just solid as heck. Look at that. I love this thing. It's like a, a boxing glove, kind of. Um, so yeah, he's a tank. He's great big. He uses. I'm going to try to get that in there. There we go. This reminds me of the backpack for uh, Warhammer. Real heavy duty. Again, McFarland does amazing details, but could you imagine just a little wash in there? Wash it, wipe it clean, and all that stuff would pop. But look at that. that is, oh, did I scratch it? It's so cool. It's, that's really heavy. It's hard to describe. It might be a really thick plastic. I'm not sure, but it, it definitely feels metallic. Look at that. He's such a chunky boy. What a good looking line. I love that he stands up while he's floating. So he's standing like his... That's a brilliant little... I like that his stand is built in. It's not just his feet. It's like standing up using his toes, his tippy toes. I love her. She might be my favorite. That staff is really, really good. Really, really, really cool looking. Goofy's my least favorite, but I like him. He's cool. He's cool. I still need to know about his dog, though. So, But this, look at this. Look at the size difference and the weight difference. That All that weight might be coming just from the size of him, but also that shield, which is the door. Look at that. So he's he's a little taller than me. Look how much wider. What a what a great bunch of toys. So that's series one, I guess. I don't know, but anyway, there's four of them. Uh, we found ours in a Target. So if you don't have a Target, um, I think we might have gotten lucky because you know how Target will often put out things that aren't um, ready to go yet. Sometimes they sneak that out there. I think GameStop might have them, um, but keep an eye out. Uh, totally worth it. I think that we paid 12 bucks a piece, which is not bad at all. Um, they are the sm a smaller scale. They're not your 7-inch scale, but still you can see how much detail they have in them. They're going to look great on a shelf. And um, then you get these cool cards too, which is... I did not expect those, so that's nice to see. But anyway, thought I would uh, show everybody the new Mirrorverse line. Looks fantastic. Enjoy, everybody. Have a good one. Bye-bye.